So good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, madam. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Raman. How are you? Yes, ma'am. All good. Okay, let's wait for other candidates to join in and then we will begin. Okay, ma'am. Okay, please just start introducing yourself. Yes, ma'am, I'm Raman Kumar. And for which aisles you are preparing? Academic. Uh, I'm preparing for no, general training. Okay, general. I'm yeah, currently living in Dubai. Okay. Yes. What about others? Hello, madam. Good afternoon. Uh, please be a little loud. Uh, good afternoon, madam. Yes. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Sunil Yadav. I'm, I'm originally from Nepal. Okay. But now I'm living in Dubai. So I am generally a student in IELTS. Okay. So you're preparing for general IELTS? Yes. Okay. okay. Great. Yes. Uh, this person with the name of iPhone. Can you tell us about yourself? Yes, good afternoon, ma'am. Myself, Gursevik Singh. I am from Uttarakhand, India. I live in Canada. I am preparing for general eyelids for my peer. Okay. Thank you. Okay, there is one more candidate with the name of iPhone. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am Kuljot Kaur and I am from Yamunanagar, Haryana. Okay. So I am preparing for IELTS exam academic. Okay, great.
Yes. Uh, a person with the name of Icon. Can you please introduce yourself? Okay, it's okay, Raman. It's your uh, one, right? Okay, so Kuljot is facing difficulties with the reading part and uh, exam is on 27th of April and reading score only 15 and 20. So, which one, like which type of question you face lot of difficulty, Kuljot? Firstly, list of heading and mm -hmm. true false. Okay, we will be doing today matching headings. So I guess it will be helpful to you. Sure. Okay, one more minute and then we will begin with the session. I guess the candidates who want to join in have joined. Okay, let's start our session. So we are going to talk about two types of question today. One is matching heading and the another one is matching information questions. Anybody who is having idea about what is mat matching heading, how we have to do matching heading questions, kya hote hai matching heading? Anyone? Any, because you all are preparing for IELTS. So you must be having some idea about what is uh, what is like matching heading questions. So matching is basically the headings which are matching with the paragraphs. So basically what you have to do, matching heading. That means you have to match headings with their respective paragraphs. You will be always provided with the labeled paragraphs here. What kind of paragraphs will be labeled paragraphs? Whether it can be para A, para B, or a paragraphs with Roman numbers. But you will always have labeled paragraphs and you will have a list of headings. You have to match those headings with their respective paragraphs. How you will be doing this? This is the most important task. Now this question, this type of question, it requires you to match the heading in the question to the correct paragraph right there will always be more than headings than the paragraph if you have five uh, five paragraphs you will have seven headings or eight headings so headings will be more some headings will not be used because headings are used right it is also possible that some of the text may not be included in the task this type is used with text that contains paragraph and have clearly defined themes. Now, this type of question, they test your ability that are you able to recognize the main idea in the paragraph and to identify supporting ideas or not. You have to read the paragraph so that you can have a gist, the main idea of that paragraph. If you understood the main idea correctly, only then you will be able to provide a heading for that paragraph, right? And sometimes these questions can be tricky also. Why? Because it takes little more time, right? As compared to the other questions. There are more headings than the paragraph. As I told you, if you have five paragraphs, there can be seven headings, there can be eight headings. Some paragraphs, they don't need headings. There are some similarities between headings. Headings will be of Similar word. Headings that only include specific details rather than the main idea may mislead you also. Some headings 
have the same words that are in the paragraph but don't match so these are some of the reasons why these questions are tricky ones Uh, Mahi, yes. Sometimes the given statement or the name of person or thing which we have to match with the paragraph. Okay, now how you're going to approach this type of question is you should choose the strategy which suits you best, right? As I always say that every person has their own different set of skills. So you have to apply which skill which you feel that you are comfortable with, right? So if you think that you are comfortable with you can apply that skill. Or if you think that no, I am good at this. So you apply your own strategy. Okay? Strategy number one is read the question first. And strategy number two says read the text first. Right? Now, when I say read the question first, how you have to attempt this? How you have to go with this strategy? Read the question first. That means first read each and every heading. Try to completely understand the meaning of each heading by reading all of them thoroughly. You will be understanding the main idea of the heading that can be made easier by paraphrasing. So what you will do, you will read each and every heading very thoroughly. Try to understand that what this heading might convey you. Second is circle keywords within the headings. Underline or you can circle the keywords sometimes like what keywords we usually circle out. It can be name, place, dates, noun, right? So you just underline all those keywords. Connecting the correct heading to the appropriate paragraph may become easier with this step, right? Third one, any similarities or differences between the headings should be noted. Now, what difference you feel that, yes, these two headings have some difference. And I make which difference, so you can put that and you can underline that also. Headings, they are often similar also. And that is why candidates, they get confused. Or they are some, sometimes they are completely opposite also. So similarities and differences will become clear among the headings once you pick out the keywords from them. Okay. So this will make choosing an option clear. Aapko thoda sa clear ho jata hai ki yes, is mein ye difference hai and is mein ye similarity hai. Read the first and last sentence of the paragraph. Now, first or last sentence of the paragraph, they often contain the main idea. So it is good you should practice reading these sentences carefully because it saves your time also, right? But it is not that you should not read the middle part. You have to read it, okay? You have to do the skimming also. Yes, who's this? Anybody, any doubt? Yes? Anybody, any doubt? Okay. The heading that is most suitable for the paragraph should be chosen now. Now, choose the heading that you feel that, yes, this is the one which closely matches the paragraph. Right? Once you have read through them again. So, you have to read each and every heading very carefully. Make you should make a note. If you are unsure of difference between multiple headings, move on. You may be able to cross some heading options out and answer may become clear once you have read all the paragraphs. So do not stick to just one heading. You can move on. Okay. In the end, when you read all paragraphs, then it is easier for you to find out that particular one. Okay. Remember ki heading kya hai? Heading is the main idea of the paragraph. Wo paragraph jo aapko convey kar raha hai, uska title hai. Right? Not a specific detail. Ek specific detail nahi hai, main idea hai paragraph ka. The same detail in the paragraph such as matching word may be in the, med, uh, may be in the heading, 
बट इट मे नॉट बी द मेन आइडिया सो ओनली की वर्ड्स पे जाके आपको स्टिक नहीं करना की वर्ड ओनली हेल्प यू टू लोकेट योर रेलिवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन राइट मैचिंग वर्ड हो सकता है उसके अंदर बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि वो उसका मेन आइडिया होता है वो कंफ्यूज करने के लिए भी होता है सो यू शुड रीड योर पैराग्राफ वेरी केयरफुली एंड गो थ्रू द हेडिंग्स वेरी केयरफुल दिस वॉज द स्ट्रैटेजी नंबर वन स्ट्रैटेजी नंबर टू इज रीड द टेक्स्ट फर्स्ट दैट मीन्स यू आर रीडिंग योर पैराग्राफ फर्स्ट नाउ सम पीपल दे प्रेफर दैट दे विल स्किम थ्रू द टेक्स by reading each paragraph quickly and then they will look at the general gist now when you start reading the paragraph you know about the gist the main idea what is the main idea of each paragraph right but you should be careful with the timing also right you have to complete one section in 20 minutes you have only 20 minutes for part 1 part 2 and part 3 that means section 1 section 2 and section 3 and 20 doesn't mean the complete 20 you have 16 to 17 minutes only because three four minutes are required to transfer your answers to the answer sheet so basically you have 17 minutes only three minutes are required to transfer at least 14 answers to your answer sheet right so read one paragraph at a time do not read all the paragraphs read one paragraph we call this strategy as para by para now what do we call this strategy this strategy is para by para para by para means you are reading one paragraph you are cross checking all the headings and you think that yes this is a suitable heading provide the heading to paragraph a then read the paragraph b take out the gist summarize it and then read all the headings provide a suitable heading to the paragraph b then go to the paragraph c so you are going para by para you are reading one paragraph at a time right so once you start reading one paragraph at a time spend more time on the first and last sentences of the paragraph so that you try to identify the main idea but i'm repeating again skim the whole paragraph spend more time on first and last sentence but skim the whole paragraph that means one paragraph now once you read the paragraph what you can do is start writing about creating your own heading when we read something we try to make out a gist we try to make out a heading hai na hum ek heading create karte hain uske liye so what you can do is you can create your own heading skim through the paragraph think of your own heading apni khud ki ek heading banao ek short sentence banao jo summarize kare ki aapne kya read kara hai right your heading should encompass the main idea not specific details sirf do sentences ko conclude karke aap heading nahi bana sakte right so you should focus on the complete paragraph is complete paragraph ki kya heading hai third one read each individual heading now what will happen dekho agar aapne paragraph a ko read kara then aapne seven headings ko read kara then aapne para b ko read kara and then again you are reading all the seven headings so in that case you are repeatedly reading all the headings aap headings ko bhi bar bar read out kar rahe ho right so it will be stuck in your mind ki aapke paas kon kon si headings available hai and it will be time saving also so read each individual heading completely understand karo meaning ko read karo headings ko thoroughly try to choose try to choose a heading jo closely related ho aapki headings राइट right? क्योंकि आपने अपनी एक ओन हेडिंग क्रिएट करी है पर्टिकुलर पैराग्राफ के लिए जब आपने पारा को क्या करा है रीड करा तो ट्राई कि जो आपने हेडिंग चूज करी है वो रिलेटेड हो लिस्ट ऑफ हेडिंग्स जो अवेलेबल है आपके पास राइट मेक नोट ऑफ मल्टीपल ऑप्शंस जो फिट करते हैं आपके पैराग्राफ में राइट एज यू रीड मोर पैराग्राफ और जैसे जैसे आप पैराग्राफ को रीड करते जा रहे हो try to eliminate eliminate karo options ko ki ha ye hamari eliminate ho chuki hai right so you can try this strategy too also what i do is i always apply the strategy number 2 when i attempt matching heading question right to usse kya ho jata hai para 1 read kara para a read kara list of headings check kari then para b read kara list of headings check kari right but if you think ki you are more comfortable with strategy number 1 aap questions ko read karo fir headings ko read karo then you can check all right paras ko read karo so what do you think 
which strategy is more comfortable with you? Yes, I want your answers in the chat box. Yes. I'm not getting answers. Okay, Mahi says read the text first. Okay, so you will be reading the paragraphs first, right? What about others? Let's make this session interactive one. If you're not going to speak, how I'm going to know that yes, you can read the text first. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about some of the techniques and tips. You have to read the headings and skim the paragraph quickly. You have to make a decision quickly as well. This is a time challenging exam. You can't devote much time wasting or uh, you know devoting such time in reading in detail. Expand the heading into a sentence. This might make the meaning clearer also. When you find the general theme or focus of the paragraph, Stop skimming and match it quickly. Once you have matched the headings, read them in order and see if the sequence makes sense or not. When you check, avoid looking at the detail. It can make you change your mind. Predict a possible sequence of heading before you look at the text. If a paragraph is difficult, use various skimming techniques. Focus on the text development. And one more thing. If you do not know the meaning of any word, don't panic. Just read before and after of the sentence so that you get a general idea, a context, right? So do not get panic. If you don't know any word ka meaning in the reading passage, mein, there are thousands of words that come in reading passage mein aate hai when you start doing it. So it doesn't mean that you will open your dictionary and you will panic that what was the meaning of this meaning. Sentence ko pura read karo so that you can guess out the meaning, right? Now let's do one. You have to choose the correct heading for this paragraph. This is section A. This is a paragraph. Uh, is the headings visible to you? No, it's no, not clear, ma'am. It's not clear. Okay, just give me a second. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share it in the chat no, box. No, ma'am. And then section A is visible no, to you. Paragraph is visible to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, is not visible. Uh, section A is visible, right? Yes. Yeah. List of headings, I'm sharing you. Just give me one second. I'm sharing you list of headings, okay? No problem. No problem.
see the chat box. I have shared all the headings with you. Can you see the headings now? Yes, ma'am. So what is the suitable heading for section A? Anybody who has done with section A? I no, think I it's think the first one. Uh, and yeah. Raman here from my side, it's five. Okay, fifth one. Governments and management of the environment. Yes. Anybody else who has done this? From my side also, ma'am, fifth is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about others? Kuljot says second one. The environmental impact of modern farming. Why Kuljot? Fifth also, madam. Sorry? Fifth, 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 five. Fifth one. Yes. Can anybody explain why it is the fifth one? Because the paragraph is basically talking about the governments and the management of environments. That's why the fifth one is the correct answer. Yes, exactly. Because they are mentioning about the role of government in environmental mm -hmm. management is difficult but inescapable. Is the topic sentence of this paragraph, right? Is paragraph can be uh, yes, Sobia, you want to add on something? Yes, the fifth one is the correct one because it uh, shows the role of government and environmental management. Exactly, exactly. Correct one. Let's move on to second section. Section B. Please read the paragraph B. And then decide. Uh, what you can do is you can take a screenshot of these headings. Okay. And then you can start reading the paragraph B and C. Done? Save the heading? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now read yes, para B as well as C2. Okay.
Sí, madam. So what is the answer for B1? Answer for B1, I think, is third. What is the third heading? Farming and soil erosion. What about others? What is the answer for B paragraph? Uh, sorry, your voice is not audible. It's not clear. You can. I, I. You can. You can. Uh, can you please type in the chat box? It's not audible to me, actually. Yes, anybody who has done B paragraph? Because third one is not the correct answer. So Neil says second one. Environmental impact of modern farming. For B1, how come? I think sixth, ma'am. Uh, the effects of government policy in poor countries. Yes. Why so? Yes. Any answers for B paragraph? B paragraph says no activity affects more of the earth's surface than farming. It shapes a third. Yes, Zubia. It's seven. Farming and food output. Exactly. It's farming and food output because the whole paragraph it discusses about, about the output. Farming and the output. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. So it is the seventh one. Seven. Right? C1, para C. Done with the reading of para C? No, ma'am. Okay. Please read that. For B paragraph, you have to read the entire paragraph. The entire paragraph talks about food output. Right? That is why 7 is the correct answer. You have to be quick. I think we're fourth. Oh, Which countries? Uh, why the fourth one? Fourth one says I'm effect of on common the policy. Uh, yes, Raman? Ma'am, ma option. You can give the option. Okay, okay. See the options. Why uh, you are saying effects of government policy in rich countries? The passage C, the para C does not talk about policy. See, that no, it's a farming and soil erosion. Third one. Uh, you can't. Farming and soil erosion, ma'am. Not, not only farming and soil erosion. Not only. <laughs> Why so? Because see, very first statement, mein kya leta hai? all these activities may have a damaging environmental impact. So, very first statement may kya bata hai ki kya impact tha farming ka? Kya environmental impact tha? Fir uske baad examples diye gaya hai. Soil erosion ka bhi ek example hai. That means wo ek supporting detail hai. Main idea nahi hai. Main heading nahi hai. Right? They are just examples. So, iska heading kya hai? Ye activities. Kaun si activities? Modern farming wali activities. Jo section B, para B mein already described ki gai hai farming ki. That means iski correct heading kya hai? Environmental impact of modern farming. Modern farming. Right? 
सॉइल इरोजन इज जस्ट अ सपोर्टिंग एग्जाम्पल दिया हुआ है एनी डाउट स्टिल हेयर नो मैम ओके नाउ लेट्स डू मैचिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन क्वेश्चन नाउ मैचिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन क्वेश्चन वट आर दीज यू हैव टू मैच इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको एक स्टेटमेंट दी होगी आपको क्या करना है मैच करना है उनको इस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन में यू विल बी आस्ट टू मैच स्टेटमेंट आपको स्टेटमेंट को पैराग्राफ से मैच करना है पैराग्राफ में से एक स्टेटमेंट आपके क्वेश्चन में पुट कर दी गई है उस स्टेटमेंट को आपको रिस्पेक्टिव पैराग्राफ से जाके मैच करना एंड दीज आर इजिएस्ट ऑल्सो बिकॉज यहाँ पे आपको हेडिंग नहीं फाइंड आउट करनी एक स्टेटमेंट को फाइंड आउट करना है पैराग्राफ में से राइट right? वो स्टेटमेंट क्या हो सकती है दीज स्टेटमेंट कुड बी रीजन डिस्क्रिप्शन भी हो सकती है समरी भी हो सकती है डेफिनेशन भी हो सकती है फैक्ट भी हो सकता है एक्सप्लेनेशन भी हो सकती है राइट right? और आपको ये भी नहीं पता कि कौन सी किस पैराग्राफ में तो इसके लिए यू हैव टू थ्रू आउट रीड द होल पैसेज आपको पूरे पैराग्राफ पूरे पैसेज को क्या करना है स्किम करना है यू डू नॉट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द होल पैराग्राफ इज अबाउट Just find specific information in the paragraph. आपको एक specific statement को find out करना है अपने paragraph में Answer will normally be contained in whole phrase or sentence, rather a single word. इसको बहुत carefully keep in mind रखो कि answer जो होगा आपका full phrase में या sentence में होगा एक single word में नहीं होगा right? Now, what reading skills are required? You will first have to be able to skim the reading test, so that you get a general meaning in each paragraph. Now, suppose you have matching heading and matching information. If both of them are there, how will you attempt that? How will you attempt that? First, you have to do the matching heading. If you have to do the matching heading first, that means you have to read all the paragraphs. सारे पैराग्राफ्स को अगर आपने रीड कर लिया यू विल गेट एन आइडिया कि कौन सी स्टेटमेंट कहां पर है राइट right? तो आप स्कैन करने लग जाओगे स्पेसिफिक वर्ड्स के साथ अपने पैराग्राफ को इट इज मोर लाइकली दैट यू विल बी लुकिंग फॉर सिनोनिम्स आपको यहां पे सिनोनिम्स मिलेंगे ही मिलेंगे पैराफ्रेज फॉर्म मिलेगी आपके स्टेटमेंट्स की राइट सो वेन यू हैव फाउंड द वर्ड ऑफ फ्रेजेस यू थिंक कि हाँ ये आपके करेक्ट आंसर है उसको रीड करो केयरफुली ताकि आपको उसका एक्चुअल मीनिंग फुल मीनिंग समझ आए और फिर आप अपने आंसर को डिसाइड करोगे राइट कॉमन प्रॉब्लम्स क्या प्रॉब्लम्स फेस करते हैं सबसे ज्यादा बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम इज दैट फैक्ट यू नीड टू लुक एट द होल टेक्स्ट अब आपको सारे टेक्स्ट को पढ़ना है है ना आपको स्टेटमेंट को फाइंड आउट करने के लिए बिकॉज आंसर कैन बी एनी वेयर इन द टेक्स्ट आपको किसी भी पैसेज में मिल सकता है कहीं पे भी इट्स नॉट कि आपको पैरा बाय पैरा जाना है या सिंगल की बोर्ड से सर्च आउट करना है बट आपको रीड इसमें सब करना पड़ेगा ऑल्सो द आंसर माइट नॉट बी द मेन आइडिया ऑफ पैराग्राफ ये सिर्फ क्या है स्टेटमेंट है नॉर्मली पैराग्राफ कंटेन वन मेन आइडिया रीडिंग द फर्स्ट लाइन एंड लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द पैराग्राफ कैन हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद दीज क्वेश्चन आंसर कुड बी इन एनी पार्ट ऑफ द पैराग्राफ so you cannot therefore just quickly skim kuch sometimes what happen is there is lots of irrelevant information also wahan pe irrelevant information bhi hoti hai so you have to ignore the irrelevant information right some paragraphs contain more than one answer also aisa bhi possible hai ki ek paragraph mein aapko do answers hi mil jaye what are the tips required very first tip is do this question in the last if you do this question first you will become familiar with the passage and this will help you identify the correct information more quickly and easily try to find out name places numbers in the question because they are easier hai na hum keywords kaun se decide karte hain most of the time hum scanning ke liye apne keywords ko kya decide karte hain ki wo names ho number ho places ho तो बी अवेयर दैट देर मे बी सिनोनिम सिनोनिम मिलेंगे फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आपको थर्टी फोर परसेंट दिया है क्वेश्चन में तो मे बी हो सकता है कि उसका सिनोनिम क्या दिया हो जस्ट ओवर अ थर्ड और अबाउट अ थर्ड इन दस्ट तो सिनोनिम्स तो आपको वेरी केयरफुली यू हैव टू चेक कि आपको सिनोनिम्स अवेलेबल होंगे और आपको सिनोनिम्स को चेक करना ही करना है राइट इफ यू कैच द पैराफ्रेजिंग अगर आपने कैच कर ली पैराफ्रेजिंग आपको अपना आंसर बहुत ईजिली मिल जाएगा right so what is the strategy which you need to apply is 
देर आर डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटेजीज एज आई ऑलवेज से आप वो अडेप्ट करोगे जो आपको सुटेबल लगती है अकॉर्डिंग टू योर स्किल्स रीड करो इंस्ट्रक्शन को केयरफुली रीड करो क्वेश्चन को फर्स्ट थिंक अबाउट हाउ कैन यू पैराफ्रेज दिस स्टेटमेंट रीड करते टाइम आपको ये ध्यान रखना है कि ये स्टेटमेंट मुझे किस फॉर्म में पैराफ्रेज मिल सकती है जैसे हम ट्रू फॉल्स नॉट गिवन में करते हैं राइट right? कि हमें इसके क्या क्या सिनोनिम्स मिल सकते हैं ये नो नॉट गिवन में भी हमने कल करा था कि क्या क्या सिनोनिम्स अवेलेबल है सो दिस विल हेल्प यू कि आप आइडेंटिफाई कर पाओगे अपने आंसर को क्विकली स्किम करो रीडिंग टेक्स को ताकि आपको एक जनरल मीनिंग बने रीड करो क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट्स को अगेन एंड अगेन अनप्रिडिक्ट करो कि कौन से पैराग्राफ में इसका आंसर हो सकता है स्कैन करो अपने टेक्स्ट को राइट right? कि इसमें इसका आंसर अवेलेबल है सो so, नॉन कोई मिला आपको यहाँ पे देन चैक बट करो अपने क्वेश्चन के साथ कि आपका रिक्वायर्ड आंसर क्या है राइट नाउ वी विल बी डूइंग दिस सी दिस इज द टेक्स्ट विजिबल टू यू यस वेट Now you have to apply your strategy, which you think कि हाँ आप इसमें comfortable हो, right? Yes. Okay. You have to match information. अब आपकी information क्या है? Question है आपका solar cell. Now you have to match this question with information. Solar cell से related आपकी क्या information है? One, two or three. जैसे हम multiple choice करते हैं, right? सपोज आपके पास क्वेश्चन वन के लिए थ्री इन्फॉर्मेशन है तो आपको ये मैच करनी है कैसे जब आप पैसेज को क्या करोगे रीड करोगे क्विकली यहाँ पे आपको सिंगल पैराग्राफ गिवन है बट एग्जाम में यू विल बी हैविंग मल्टीपल पैराग्राफ आपको मल्टीपल पैराग्राफ्स मिलेंगे राइट मैम मुझे इसकी समझ नहीं आ रही मतलब क्या करना है सी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन गिवन है आपको सोलर सेल You have okay. to match. आपको एक इन्फॉर्मेशन फाइंड करनी है सोलर सेल से रिलेटेड दैट सोलर सेल बोन स्ट्रेंथ सोलर सेल यूज इन कार्स एंड कंप्यूटर्स और सोलर सेल क्योर डिप्रेशन क्या करते हैं सोलर सेल तो यू हैव टू कनेक्ट यू हैव टू मैच इन्फॉर्मेशन सेम सेकेंड होगा योर आंसर इन द चार्ट बॉक्स ठीक है हम तीनों करने के बाद अपने आंसर को चार्ट बॉक्स में लिखेंगे Do do. not discuss now. Let others also do, hai na? Second is vitamin D. A vitamin okay. D अपनी प्री एजम्पन कोई नहीं लगाएगा है ना कि वाइटामिन डी है तो मे बी इसका आंसर यही होगा हम पहले अपने पैसेज को रीड करेंगे देन वी विल डिसाइड की वाइटामिन डी क्या है और सनलाइट क्या है राइट यस थैंक यू नो वरी
Yes, ma'am. Done. Yes, please write your answer in the chat box. What is okay. the answer? Okay, everybody done? Or is anybody okay. left? Yes, ma'am. Done, done ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Done, ma'am. Okay. So, solar cells. If we look at solar cells, so what is the information to match with solar cells? Used in car and computers. Used in cars and computers. Because it is Second one. So now you got an idea that matching information में आपको क्या करना होगा आप and these are only like phrase ये words की form में दिया है sometimes it can be in the form of statement आपको solar cell से related complete statement भी available हो सकता है like suppose question one can be a solar cell collects the power of the sun and stores it then continuation में आपको एक और statement भी available हो सकता है right so matching information can come in different multiple ways. But the strategy is same. First half aapko given is, second half aapko given is, you just have to connect. Hai na? First half is solar cell. Second half is, it can be used in cars and computer. So aapne yes. kya kara hai? Match kara hai information. Yes. Right? Right. Yes. Aapko it's para easy. Yes, it is. But when you get a complicated, just may have paraphrasing jada milegi, then you have to catch it. Right? Sure, sure. What about the second one? Vitamin D? Bone strength. It's bone strength. First one, bone strength. The first one. People need vitamin D to have strong bone so you are matching information aapne kya kara information ko match kar diya right sunlight excuse depression exactly because last mein kya likha hai sunlight can help depression and keep people happy so that means it's preventing depression that means it's curing the depression right so aapne kya kara sunlight ko किससे मैच कर दिया उसकी स्टेटमेंट से मैचिंग द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज व्हाई आई सेड कि मैचिंग इंफॉर्मेशन इज इजियर बिकॉज यहाँ पे आपको सिर्फ स्टेटमेंट को लोकेट करना है मैच करना है इट इज वेरी मच इजियर एज कंपेयर टू मैचिंग हेडिंग नाउ एनी डाउट एनी क्वेरीज इन मैचिंग हेडिंग और इन मैचिंग इंफॉर्मेशन क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज लेट मी नो मैम मैचिंग हेडिंग हेडिंग में वो पहले टेक्स्ट पढ़ना है कि क्वेश्चन पढ़ने हैं उसमें थोड़ा देखो आई टोल्ड यू ये आपकी स्ट्रेटजी है आप जिस स्ट्रेटजी से आपको लगता है कि यू आर गेटिंग इजीली आंसर अगर आपको लगता है कि आप क्वेश्चन को पहले रीड करते हो देन पैराग्राफ्स को रीड करते हो वो आपके लिए सिंपलर है तो आप वो स्ट्रेटजी भी अप्लाई कर सकते हो अदरवाइज आप एक सिंगल पैरा को रीड करो आपको फाइव पैराग्राफ्स के बने पैरा ए को रीड करो सारी हेडिंग्स को चेक करो कौन सी सूटेबल हेडिंग है अपनी एक ओन हेडिंग क्रिएट कर लो पैरा ए को रीड करके कि इसमें क्या डिस्क्राइब किया जा रहा है देन मैच करो हेडिंग से क्विकली पैराग्राफ बी को रीड करो फिर सारी हेडिंग्स को चेक करो क्रॉस चेक करो कौन सी हेडिंग इसके लिए सूटेबल है राइट मैचिंग हेडिंग को आप पैरा बाय पैरा टेक्निक के थ्रू भी क्या कर सकते हो सॉर्ट आउट कर सकते हो राइट एनी बडी एल्स एनी डाउट नो मैम नो मैम Okay, and uh, there was a candidate who was having exam on twenty seventh of April, Kuljot. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Kuljot. So, uh, where are you from? I'm from Jamnagar, Haryana. Okay. So, what you can do is, you multiple tests first download. Karo. Aaj apne matching heading kara hai, matching information kara. Hai. उन टेस्ट में से रोज कंप्लीट मॉक टेस्ट नहीं करना अभी ठीक है हम okay. क्या करेंगे पहले टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस करेंगे ऑल द बिगनर्स जो भी यहाँ पे बिगनर्स हैं आयल्स के जिन्होंने अभी स्टार्ट करी है प्रिपरेशन और जो कॉन्टिन्यूसली लाइव क्लासेस अटेंड कर रहे हैं फोर ओ क्लॉक आई रिक्वेस्ट देम कि आप पूरे मॉक टेस्ट मत करो कंप्लीट पहले सिर्फ टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन करो टेन मॉक टेस्ट के प्रिंट आउट निकाल के अपने पास रखो ठीक है 10 मॉक टेस्ट के प्रिंट आउट में से सबसे पहले क्या करना है ट्रू फॉल्स की सारी एक्सरसाइज करो देन यस नो नॉट गिवन की एक्सरसाइजेस करो देन द वेरी नेक्स्ट डे मल्टीपल चॉइस कंप्लीट करो देन मैचिंग हेडिंग्स करो मैचिंग इंफॉर्मेशन करो 
पहले अपने टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस की स्किल्स को स्ट्रॉन्ग बनाओ उसके बाद कंप्लीट मॉक टेस्ट को अटेम्प्ट करो अगर आप वेरी फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में ही कंप्लीट मॉक टेस्ट को अटेम्प्ट करोगे यू विल नेवर गेट योर स्कोर आपका कभी भी स्कोर नहीं आएगा पहले अपने टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन को स्ट्रॉन्ग करो राइट right? आपको sure. पता होना चाहिए कि कौन से क्वेश्चंस में आपको कौन सी स्किल्स लगानी है कौन सी स्ट्रेटजी लगानी है कैसे अटेम्प्ट करना है तो जब तक आप टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन को प्रैक्टिस नहीं करोगे मॉक टेस्ट को करना इज कम्प्लीटली वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम एग्जाम प्रेशर के अकॉर्डिंग नहीं करना अभी राइट अंडर द एग्जाम कंडीशन नहीं हो अभी अभी आप प्रैक्टिस में हो सो so, प्रैक्टिस में हमें सबसे पहले टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन आने चाहिए श्योर मैम राइट सो यू कैन गो टू द बेबी कोड एप्लीकेशन आप ऐसे वहां पे रीडिंग के ऑल एकेडमिक जनरल वाले जनरल डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं एकेडमिक वाले एकेडमिक टेस्ट डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं राइट एंड मल्टीपल टेस्ट डाउनलोड कर सकते हो आप देर इज नो बाउंडेशन कि आपको वन ही अलाउड है राइट टू डू प्रैक्टिस एंड यू कैन री वॉच दिस सेशन आप इस सेशन को दोबारा भी देख सकते हो बेबी कोड की एप्लीकेशन में भी और यूट्यूब पे भी ठीक है वेरी सुन अभी सेशन के बाद ये थोड़ी देर में अपलोड हो जाएगा सो यू विल गेट दिस सेशन आप सारे सेशंस को वहां पे देख सकते हो राइट ओके सो लेट्स वाइंड अप एनीबॉडी एनी डाउट और अदरवाइज वी आर गोइंग टू मीट टुमारो विद न्यू टॉपिक ओके ओके देन सी यू बाय बाय टेक केयर ऑल ऑफ यू बाय बाय टेक केयर मैम